Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Cozy Knight and today I'm going to start playing The Devil in Me. This is the last game in the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1, so we're going to check it out. I've played all the rest and uh, I'm hoping to get this finished before Season 2 comes out. Not sure when that is, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So grab your snacks, get cozy, let's do this. is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. Oh. I bet you can see We're for going 100 to the miles at the top. World's we Fair? make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Snake oil. Gotta get me some of that. I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Hmm. Where is everybody? Let's check in. Seems a little quiet. Hello? Are we the only ones here? <laughs> I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Ring the bell. Try again? Uh-oh. <laughs> you can check in, but you never leave. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Ah. Uh, let's go for later. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. Ah, uh, okay. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. Oh, he's uh, a little sus. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Hmm. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. We just got married. Woo! Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Oh, what the hell? 
Yes. Um, Today's the beginning no. of our honeymoon. Congratulations. This seems weird. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Okay. Oh, well. No, don't sign uh, it. You're signing your life away. that much higher? <laughs> Oh, Think well. nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. H H H. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer. Builder, doctor, ghost, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything and we will add it to your bill. Oh, an honor system. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Well, something ain't right here. That's for sure. Jewelry. Ooh. Buy her a new ring. Better ring. <laughs> She's already looking. Okay, what can I get? Wow, uh, what did I forget to bring? Oh, what is that? Bath milk. Mmm, all right. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Who do I get what to pick one? Like to know. So I wonder what uh, that decision did when I picked the bath milk. Interesting. Wonder what's in here. Private. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> What the hell? Can't just do that. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Ah, it's a ghost. Dead body. <gasps> Don't move. Hide, hide. Oh, do I gotta do that heartbeat thing again? Nope. Yep, <laughs> of course. Uh, of course. Okay. I got lots of practice at this. Gonna make it do it again. Ah, you can see my arm. Oh gosh, here we go again. Okay. Uh. No problem. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. <laughs> He's watching us the whole time.
Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Work at killing people? <laughs> I have no idea what this game's about, but I'm just guessing. Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. I mean, don't worry, buddy. You're going to get some tonight. Hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. Oh. Target him. <clears throat> right in the face. <laughs> Even though I aim for his stomach. Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <clears throat> Alright, well, I didn't expect to have a... Oh, crap. A pillow fight. Right in the face. <clears throat> mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Ooh, I like gifts. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Yeah. Victory is mine. It's okay. I'll let you have that bath now. Ooh, yeah, my bath milk. Uh-oh. A peeper. <laughs> lovely. Occupied. Okay, where the hell's the bathroom? It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Go, 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 go. <sighs> no problem. Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. In a different I think bathroom. I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. So this is Jeff. Okay. Find a shaving kit. Well. Okay. Let's go back this way, I guess. Well, the walking is just as janky as it is in the other games. Oh, what's this? Anything up here? No. Interesting pictures. Not really. Okay. La 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 la. Oh, of course I can go in here. All right, let's go see what that sheet is. Better not. Oh. Coward. Okay. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Yeah, how the heck do I get out of here? What the? What? Ah! <laughs> oh! What the hell? Oh my god! Trying to get me quick. It's a Marie. hotel of horrors. Oh no, Marie! Don't take a bath. It's probably acid. 
not bath milk. Do, do, do. Perfect. I hope I'm right. I hope it is acid. Oh, who did I see in the mirror there? Is that the uh, caretaker? Or what's his name? You know. Ah, it's acid. It's burning my ass. Well, I guess not. That would have been cool, though. Excuse me, who's coming in? What the hell? Jeff, is that you? Is that you, darling? Jeff? Uh, that ain't Jeff. Oh, are we playing another game? Uh, should I investigate? Oops, this way. Well, probably means my death. Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Well, that's obviously uh, oh. the hotel guy. Mm, His pants were the nice. purple color. Yeah, that's him. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Push her Jeff, down. that hurts. Hello, my dear. <laughs> ah! We don't want to disturb the other guests. Well, thought you'd have a little more fight in you. Should I have investigated? Ah. <laughs> I don't get a chance to fight back or anything. There we are. Oh man. Nice and quiet. Well, that sucks. Sorry, Marie. What are you hey, doing? What are you doing in that bathroom? If you've touched Maria, I'll... you're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. <laughs> ah, Jeff, run! Is there a problem, sir? Oh no, my razor. Ah. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> what the hell? me yep well so much for that guess I'm not going to the world's <laughs> fair <laughs> oh she's not gonna help yet <laughs> oh ho ho Okay, well, I sure hope they weren't two main characters. <laughs> I'm really doing very bad. Victims. We're the best for you, my dear. 
Mother would simply die. It's so I say, uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Well, hello, curator. How are you today? Hmm. Looks like he's in a rush. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. <laughs> That's not true. A couple survived. <laughs> it's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices, and sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Uh -huh. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Ooh, okay. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. All right, let's get to it. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on ticket accounts. Boring. Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip in lighting tech for years. <laughs> See a problem? Light it. She was in, uh, what was it? You don't often meet Man someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. Uh, I've been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. Hmm. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the, the fact there. that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. 
Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. That stash, though. On May though. 7th, Man. 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. Whoa. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? Uh, it was okay-ish. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. <laughs> Hold that thought. You can say it. It's crap. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you? Mr. Dumet. Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Then say Without no. Them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. Oh, everybody's going to be pissed. They don't get their weekend off. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Uh, right. I guess that's a yes. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave them behind it. Right. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure, <laughs> excitement. Anyone? Rope. Yes. Huzzah. Destruction. Woohoo! Hooray! This is gonna be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me. No money in my pocket. A dead phone and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So? Come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder uh. castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just no. trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. Hell no. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can know affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. 
his place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be great. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy going to help? Well, he's just the driver. That's it. No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. Well, she's rude. She'll be the first to go. If I have anything to do with it. <laughs> okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Okay, who am I? This guy. Okay. Uh, how do I get up there? Okay, let's go see. Actually, should I be looking for those fancy little coin things? Ah, uh, there's probably nothing here. Can I run? No. All right, let's climb the wall. This way? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I have no clue. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. L1 to jog. Okay, here we go. Uh. What the hell? Jesus, that Jesus. is loud. Man, it's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Ah, oh, what is this? Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Cliff erosion. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. Yeah, that's I'm not gonna good. say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, Hard I'm sure disagree. it's fine. Which way did I come from? Away. Oh, Can I go this way? Uh, sure. Listen, Mark. I just wanted to say. Um, Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Okay, where am I going? Uh... Okay, I won't lie. Yes, this I was way. hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Memory of Must the victims. Quite a storm. The great storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia. Hmm, why does that sound familiar? Uh, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Well, that sucks. 
All right. Oh no. Now I feel like we're trespassing. I got a lighter. Okay. Woo. Almost burnt your hood. Sorry. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks out. Go see my family. I need you in post. Shimmy. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. <laughs> Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, ah. pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Should I go through here? Yeah. Shimmy, shimmy. A little faster. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just uh, hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum. To God damn it. Right. Hey, that guy just That's disappeared. Where'd he go? <laughs> Buddy, where are you? Oh no, vanished. Oh no. Okay, guess I'll go on on my own. Oh, he's back. <sighs> Are we there yet? Locked tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Okay, how the hell am I going to get through here? Hey, something was right here. What is this? Fish factory to close. Exciting times. Okay, well, I can get through here probably. Shimmy, shimmy. All right, there we go. And then obviously down through here. All right, made it. Out of here, bird. Ooh, this looks pretty old. Tie clip to open locked boxes. Well, I don't even know it was locked, but oh, a token! Yay! What's that? Just some old coin. Oh, I need it. Find a penny. Get up. Gotta pay the curator. Obols. Okay. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. I'm just but you're the one who keeps the engine going. Climb. It's not okay. how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Oh, this reminds me of Last of Us. <laughs> All right, now I can jump up and through the window. I'm in. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> Christ. 
Christ, what the hell is that? L2 to hide from threats. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah! What the hell? Probably just a dog or something. Nice to meet you too. It's a dog. He's probably allergic. What are you looking at? Okay. Shimmy. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. Lovely. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Uh, you think? Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some hobby. What in God's name is yeah. this? Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Uh, yeah, it did. Scared the crap out of me. Oh boy. Well, how are we gonna get a shot when there's nowhere to go? Oh, a ladder. Okay, of course. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, is he scared of heights? Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's all right. Come on, we better get back. Oh my God, I hope I don't have to go all the way back. Okay, good. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Yeah, how did Let's he just know play that? nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? They used that character model before Again, as well. I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. don't know what you're in for. It won't be good, that's for sure. All right, that's going to do it for now. Kind of a slow start to the story, but at least I got my first two people killed no problem. <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but uh, I made it happen. 
And I'm not sure this film shoot is going to go very well at the hotel, but we're going to have to see how that pans out. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please leave a like. Thank you very much for watching. Stay cozy. See ya.